everyone welcome back to another exo zeros video so today's video we're going to discuss unleash potential my ultimate guide so before you start unleashing the potential of your heroes probably you're a beginner probably you're you're an intermediate player or mid-level player or probably you're a whale um let's take a step back and try to think who to unleash first okay i've i've incurred i've encountered these um questions actually uh recently and i wanted to share you some priorities before you do your unleash potential okay so first is who are the heroes that you have for for pvp or pvp tag so there for me it would be rudley annie garf schmidt and the th the fifth one would be probably for PvP would be either Iris or Ramji. So um, PvP tag, you should take that into account as well, who you're going to unleash potential. So mainly um, your primary PvP team, you should do unleash potential. So that's the priority. Second would be PvP tag. And make sure that these, your PvP are also your priority in terms of signature force. Because that would be important as well in Unleash Potential because um, you can really have a level up with your heroes if they're Unleash Potential and they have a good Signature Force level. Okay? And also try to consider the overall use of each hero. Like for example, I'll give you give an example. Um, those who are not in my, in my PvP, but I'm using as... Um, um, for, for PvE, for the dragon, so you have Chatty. The other one would be, that, that gives me overall use, would also be Maggie. So try to consider as well, leveling, you know, leveling up their, or, or, or bringing to a higher level their unleash potential. So if you can see here, Maggie, she's actually my current project. I don't have her yet at a good level for unleash potential but for my main pvp and secondary pvp team members i actually am already done with them so um if you can see here janai up to ramji iris shell i think i'm done with uh, with them for unleash potential they're my primary and secondary pvp teams but again um try to make sure that you also consider um heroes with other uses um especially if you're done with your if you're done a niche potential with your main team secondary team for pvp you go to the next ones okay also please do consider your priority those who have fate cores because if you for example unleash someone without a fate core um there's a possibility that when that fate core comes along it changes the skill of that hero and you might require um what do you call this you might require um a different focus in terms of the new fc but again um just consider um unleashing first heroes which have fate cores okay and just to more or less have an overview on which tree you're going to select so let's go first with I'll, I'll, sh I'll show you an example so consider actually the skills of your heroes i'll i'll have you i'll have three examples redley schmidt and Janai. so we'll go first with redley take a look at their skills and if they need any certain certain um bumps or certain um, modifiers, like for example, grants a barrier with a maximum health of maximum own maximum health. So more or less for Redley, you should be able to prioritize for stamina because stamina gives health. So this tree would be your first priority. If there are no priorities in terms of stats, more or less the secondary choice would be to look at the the unleash potential effect that a certain tree will add and that is actually how you determine in terms of your skill tree but before that we'll go first to schmidt schmidt needs a lot of defense because of master's footsteps so for schmidt you prioritize as well the defense tree and an additional unleash potential effect is also good so again 
very uh, very important to prioritize the defense for Schmidt. And the last would be Janai. Janai, of course, you have to prioritize her attack because of her charm. You have to increase her attack stat. So you prioritize this tree on the left side. So again, if your heroes, like for example, a certain hero doesn't have any, like for example, let's go to Adams. Um, Adams is Adams. I just finished his unleash potential, but for his skill, he doesn't have any. It doesn't require any buffs, buffs to be um to be done to his kit or to be added to his kit. So for for Adams, actually, if you want to prioritize um a a tree first. I would suggest you give him survivability, either defense or 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 health. Then, or also you could go first with attack. So it's it, it's really a toss up between what you want to prioritize. Um, especially if if he attacks first, do you do you do you increase his attack? Um, is he squishy enough? Do you increase his HP or defense? So more or less, it's up to you to decide. The, the, the only critical thing to decide on is on the skills if they need stats to be bumped up. Okay, so next would be um, if you want to move to another hero. Let's say, for example, um, uh, you want to move to another hero. Uh, you want to spread out your, your, what do you call this? Your ultimate orb. So... I would suggest you try to more or less pick one or two trees before or, or you finish one or two trees stamina tree attack tree for example then before moving off to another um because again it would it would not be good that most of your stamina tree is actually not not uh, maxed out and you jump to a different hero and kind of max it semi max that one as well so I'd rather you max at least one, then two, then after that you could jump off to another hero, then go back to this certain hero next time if you have ulti ultimate orbs ready. Okay, and also last for this video, it is important that you think about your resets. Okay, so my story is the reversion clock that was given to us, I already used, but I used it wisely because... Um, let's go out. Let's take a look at Tantalo. Tantalo actually had a semi-full tree that, you know, that I already leveled up. But again, I'm not using Tantalo because of the current meta. So that is what I did. I reset his, um, reset his tree and I distributed his orbs, his solar seals, his other currency to two heroes i distributed it to one is rara which is about to be full already and the other one is adams because actually i'm using adams in my secondary team for storage republic and both them have benefited well from what i reset from tantalo again be wise about the resets don't reset just because you want to reset think it over because again resets actually cost a lot so let's go to the shop i think i saw here a a what do you call this a reset there so monthly reversion clockwork package monthly limit is actually one and it costs 5,000 gems, which actually costs a lot of money. So again, think about this when you do the reset. If you haven't used yours, please think about it before you do. Make, make the wise choice on who do you really not need for now and probably scatter them in other heroes or you could automatically transfer everything to one hero. But again, um, make sure that that hero you won't be needing in the near future if you want to reset. Um, all of his niche potential. So again, I, I do hope that they release other events so that we could um, farm for the reset. Uh, because again, if you see here, the monthly reversion clockwork package is very expensive. So I hope we get this in other events so that we could also farm this or probably merge some items in our inventory to get this. But again, hey, 
EXO Heroes has been has been good recently in adding these other benefits or or at least improvements to the game. So anyway, guys, that is it for me. Um, put down in the comment section below what your comments are in t in terms of Anish potential. Um, if you have questions in a certain with a certain hero, please do put them down below. Um, for those who haven't subscribed to my channel, around 85 of you uh, viewers out there haven't subscribed yet. So please do. This helps my channel a lot. Also, if you like this video, please put a like, thumbs up um, in this video. Guys, thank you very much. Stay safe. Take care always. This is The Warden, and I'm out of here.